All right, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> I am uh, about to play a little bit of this Great Rebellion. I stink at these kinds of games. Can you guys hear me? Everybody hear me okay? I'm still a little bit sick, so forgive my forgive my voice. We'll be playing for a little bit here. So. And the way that it's set up, I'm not set up. You can't hear the audio, so I got a little bit of royalty-free background music here. So we're going to listen to this. I tried to pick something that's a little bit kind of in the vibe of the game. Unfortunately, we are not going to... It seems a little bit loud, don't it? Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to hear any of the sound effects from the game. So, here we go. We'll play a little bit. I need some health. I completely forgot that last time I played, I just beat the last boss. And he knocked me down to, like, no health. So I got to find some health. Folks have been telling me, because I, I, I don't play a lot of video games, but I play a little I play a little bit. You know what I mean? I play a little bit. I like to play a little games. Is it? I play a little bit. Raises my maximum health. The folks been telling me, because I, I I like to play retro games a lot. So folks been telling me, hey, why don't you fire up, play some retro games. Let us see some of these obscure gems from back in the day. Yeah, all right. Got better weapons. Yeah, let's get some more health. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right, I'm back, Sal. Next mission, consume Europe. I'm using a controller for this bad boy. I'm one of them one of them plebs that absolutely hates using keyboard and mouse. Let's uh, take a look at the chat here real quick. All right. We got uh, let's go. All right. Cool. That's some good folks in here. Love this game. Needs an update. Send him a stream key. What do I have an older version of the game? Oh crap, I just walked into him. 
Yeah, I saw my boy uh, Volk there said that he set up, I guess he set up some sort of retro box there. I have been playing, um, I have a retro box too. I have a, an old com Mac computer that I converted into a, a retro box. Twenty-four social credit. Okay, is there anything here? We got here Herman Cheruskin. We got Arminius with us now. Am I missing anything? Rhodesian radio. When you clear a room, you might get some ammo. That's a good upgrade. A reductionist. Well, there's a chance of deflecting damage and triggers a counterattack. What do I got? I got. What's this? Survive the Jive subscription. Man. Got enough for that? I think so. Oh, yeah. I think I'm max. I'm pretty maxed out on health. I got to start being more conscious about my ammo. Yeah, 
Ah, oh, crap. The music that I have loaded up is I tried to pick something that's a little bit similar to what's on the game, but really one of the shining parts of this game is the music. And it's really unfortunate that I can't get it set up. Somebody out there that's uh fuck. I just fell into this underground thing. Shit. blow that up. Copy Lord of the Rings. Increased damage done by melee weapon. I don't have a melee weapon. guys haven't noticed i am pretty stinky at platformers i am not really that good at these kinds of games i'll tell you what though this one is addicting this is a fun game to play and it's not just that because he's my boy and xyz this is oh shit what am i doing this is legit like a dope game this is a dope game crap i need a new gun now I was doing okay. Now I'm like fucking cursing myself. The starter gun sucks.
Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Oh, God. Oh, I got some. Okay. Now it's stupid. I'm done. Crap. So you gotta blow up the things that that uh, power her thing, her shield. get some more upgrades let's take a look at the chat dash through projectiles you won't get damn I keep forgetting that Kessler PI says, I never play video games usually, but I bought it and played it tonight, and I'm positively surprised. I didn't think I could uh, like a video game that much. The video games are dope. Video games are dope. Here. Miss Swan. Hang on. Give me one second here. I'm going to... I got to do a little maintenance here. So here's the deal, boys. There have been a few weirdos that have recently gotten in a tiz about some of the stuff that I've been saying and posting, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So Miss Swan, I'm going to make you an admin. Who else we got here? Cult Games. Oh, uh, cult games in the chat. Hold up, give me one second. Oh, I can't make you a an admin cult games. I was gonna hand. I'm handing out some wrenches right now. So, any of you guys there that if you know me, if you know me on Telegram or whatever, hit me up, and then uh, I'll give you a wrench. For my live streams, I need some folks buzzing around. You guys know how I handle things. Anybody that comes in running their mouths, acting like scumbags, just immediate ban. I don't even, I don't even talk to weirdos. I don't argue with them. We're not friends. If they're coming to mess with me, mess with my mess with my platform, mess with my friends, mess with my people. Just come in negative being scumbags. Immediately. Decapitation. We take their heads immediately. Stomp. Don't even let them talk. I hate freedom of speech. 
on my platforms, I am a tyrant. Sometimes I ban people just because I don't like the way they look. I don't like their name. I'm not even sorry. There we go. All right, let's get back to... Let's get back to some base gaming here. What's this? Consume Europa. Okay. Where's my dude? All right, let's talk about some upgrades there, Gus. What do we got? Well, I got 186, so what do I need? Change. When you pick up ammo, all your guns will be recharged. That's good. Find better weapons in the levels. Can I... Is there a place to buy... A new weapon? I need a... I need something. Fire. I need a dope gun. Better weapons in the level. Increase your carry capacity. I just say to find. We gotta go with that. We gotta go with that. You always want better weapons. All right. Is there a place that I can? Is there a place at home base where I can replenish my health? No. Where are these jokers? What do they say? Well, you thought I was just bring some of the resistance members back. Okay. All right, bugger, let's roll. I love generated levels. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I know there's some guys out there that don't like it, but, and I, I see the argument, you know, like single handcrafted levels, you know, depending on the game, like a game like this. Oh, what am I doing? Scratching my freaking nose. I told you guys I suck. What is that? Give me one second here. What is that noise? What is going on here? Yo, Roland, how am I doing, bub? Do I stink? You can tell me I stink. It's okay. I'm I'm an RPG guy, actually. I'm an RPG guy, and there are a few other games that fall outside of that genre that I really like. I like some strategy games. Um, I do like uh, a couple of the autistic map games. I <laughs> know those are popular among men of our ilk men of culture right there are a couple of them I like I don't really get too big into them though I'm an RPG guy I like 
I don't get into shooters. I like some, like, you know, what they call boomer shooters, right? I get into some of those. But if I fire up, I start doing like Dave Arcade becomes a thing. Yeah. What's the secret to it? Because I know like that's like the big thing are these like game streamers. And that's not really something I'd really be into. But I can do a little bit. Yeah, I'll do a little bit. You know what I mean? Mainly to display like cool indies. I'd love to do that. Just do a little bit of cool indies. Shit. Uh, retro games, shit like that. Who's this fella? Thanks, you're rescuing me. Who's Jason Reziola? I don't know who that is. Thank you for rescuing me. Better get to the Wald Gang ASAP. Where's the Wald Gang? Now. There's not another thing down here. I got to hop up out. Okay, we'll hop up out. Is there anybody else up here? I got to Okay, he's maxed out. I'm going to try to save as much of that ammo as possible for when I fight Laquisha or whatever. I love that, like I said, I was saying before, I love that this is randomly generated levels. Games that I really, really don't like. I'm not a fan of Dark Souls games. Souls likes. I don't like them. It just feels like you're just memorizing dance moves or something. And this is a completely like the opposite experience. Crap. Where you at? Come on, boy. Suck on that, boy. Have a sip of that. Get 
Get some bubble gum. Have a have a taste of this, boys. Have a suck on this. Oh yeah. I just, I fucking stink. Oh. Oh. I'm terrible. I'm garbage. I'm such garbage. Oh. That's a pathetic amount of health. I'm done. I'm cooked. Gas Queen is going to crush me with her with her behemoth. Behemoth girth. All right. All right. Here we go. Leave me alone. Suck at this game. I just can't beat the yes queen. She's just too brave and stunning for her. Dang. Where can I buy? Can I buy guns here? No, these fucking guys are just. All right, you want me to give you this random item I found for 36? Do I? Do I want that? Yeah, let's take it. Cowboy Bandolier. When a companion dies, he will drop. I forgot. I didn't even read what that said. I don't want to talk to the furry.
Okay. Yeah, damn these people sell guns. Who's this guy? European man. Okay. Who's that? Peanut Arbuckle. <laughs> totally, I don't have a problem with that. It's equal. Here, I can make you have limited ammo for your next mission for only 30 social credits. Sure, let's do it. Can I afford anything for from uh, old guy? Uh, who's that? Who won't talk to me. Spider, we should split up and quest to detect our crats, stooges, and puppets. Do a little digging. Their machines might have data. Also, they can become easier to. All right, we're going to try one more time. Uh, here. Let's take a gander at the chat here. See if anybody's. I got a, I got family emergency. I'll be right back. All right, all right. That was that was crazy. I'll be right back, boys. I'm gonna go get something to drink. I'll be back in like 30 seconds here. One second. Let me see here. See what everybody's in here. Thought Dave had a game in the. I do have a game in the works. We could talk about that in a minute. I would play the shit at. I don't have. I can't play it because uh, I only have. I don't have the operating system. I don't have a Windows machine, so I can't show you guys. But uh, Fornall has it. I'm gonna harass him to see if he can give me a Mac build. Jason Reziolo sounds bad, New Jersey. It does sound bad. Hey, how you doing? Yo, Jay. Yo, Jay Reziolo. How you doing over here? Breaking boys. Yes, yeah, so I'll be right back. That family emergency, my daughter, I have a, my youngest kid, my daughter, she's three, right? And she's a big, tough girl and is dangerous, right? She started falling down the steps and her little brother called her. Her big brother called her. So, 
my six-year-old Carter from falling the whole way down the steps. She's she scares the crap out of me with that. Like I'll be going, and she'll like stand like right at the top of the steps, like right on the edge, and start like dancing and spinning around. It's like, yo, stop! It makes me crazy. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll be right back. I promise. Give me thirty seconds. All right. One second here. Got to go check on my kid and grab something to drink. All right. Where are we at here? Let me get settled. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, my God. This chair jerks off. So I get for buying Chinese garbage. That's what I get. All right, what am I doing here? All right, here we go. All right. I got unlimited ammo. All right.
freaking kicked their butts that time. I'm like fucking just like running into everybody. This is terrible. What's that? More to this halfling. There's more to this halfling than meets the eye. What does it do? The upgrade become available in the world gang. Okay. I said this on our on our Culture Dads episode. This game, like when you first start playing it, and I'll be honest with you, um, you guys know me. I'm pretty critical of political themes in entertainment. I think it, if it's like, it depends. It depends, right? If, like, for example, if you are doing world building and your your world is constructed, you know based on you know positive worldview of something right so example say you're a monarchist or a freaking you know you are you like monarchy or you like i don't know pick some other you know government thing right and you have kind of the uh, protagonists in your in your in your game or in your setting are sympathetic to these ideas and you craft it well so it's believe like that's a different thing than than like overt political stuff and this is pretty overt but what's a little bit unique about this game is it starts out like you, you open it up you're like oh this is overt this is just an overt meme game. It is a it is a, a meme game. And so I'm not just saying this because cult games are my buddies and I'm in, I'm in the game, right? I'm not just saying it because of that. If I would, I'll tell you, this is how I am. If I was in the even if I was in the game and X Y Z, if I didn't like it, like you got this is just my my honest opinion. If I didn't like it, I would say it. I'd be like, yo, I don't know if yo, I'm very honored. I'm in the game. I'm, these are my friends. You know, it's just not my cup of tea. I would say that. You know what I mean? But this game, it's... This genre is not my cup of tea. I don't like... Pla I hate platformers. I don't... I just really don't go for it. It's, it's not that there's a bad. It's just not what I go for. I like... Yeah, I like RPGs. I like RPGs. I like... Uh, certain racing games. I like certain sports games. I like uh, certain strategy games. I, I, outside of RPGs, pretty much, I don't know. I'm open to whatever is just dope, and, and I get into survival games. Sometimes I like Ark, Conan Exiles. Key card needed. But despite all that with this game, what's unique about this game is it does a bait and switch. It is um, 
you're like, oh, this is this is a silly, uh, like obnoxious mean game. And you pick it up, you start playing it, and it starts to unfold. You begin to fall in love with the mechanics, first and foremost, and the the music and the art, the visuals, the aesthetics. You fall in love with the aesthetics of the game because it just. You could remove everything. You could remove. You could make this a completely different game, completely different game, and um, it would just be fun on its own with the mechanics. Because that's the thing with games. A game, like a, for example, like a, a game with a tremendous story, with shit mechanics, is a shit game. But a game, a game with a shit story. And dope mechanics is still a dope game. You know what I mean? And the mechanics of this game are what you fall in love with. So you play this game. Oh, wow. This, you know, shooting around and get, upgrading your guns and the roguelite sh platform shooter. Like all of it blended together. It's a lot of fun. And then you're like, the music just is fantastic. The music is excellent. The pixel art is fantastic. You just like fall in love with the aesthetics after that. And then it starts to unfold. So it tr it's like it m sort of markets itself as a meme game, as like a silly meme game, but then pulls you in to something else. And it tells a story. You know what I mean? It has an interesting story. What am I doing? John Doe. Thanks for rescuing me. Better get to the walled gang ASAP. I just rescued another guy. Sanders, a great armor. Bosses will be. Charles the 12th of Sweden. All right, Charlie. King Chuck. If uh, this is as good chance as I have had so far. That was a weird placement for that thing. wasted Charles
All right. Crap. Ah! No! Son of a whore! God damn it! Fuck! Ah! That jerks off. How did I fuck that up? How did I fuck that up? That jerks off. I can't believe I did that. She was down like that. How do I? I told you guys I suck. I told you guys I'm trash. I told you guys I am trash at this game. All right, let's go see. I'm so mad. That's like, I'm very frustrated. That's why I don't play these games. All right, give me one second. God. I'm mad. I'm so mad. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put that up there. Yeah, we got books available, guys. We got books over there. Um, so, yeah. Buy books. I'm so mad. I can't even shill books right now. Son of a whore. You see that? How did I fuck that up? Oh. I'm going to try one more time and then that's it. Okay. Oh my God. I need a better gun. I'm mad. I'm like still mad. I can't believe I did that. I can't. She was like done. She was done for. All I had to do was like dodge one more attack. Oh, why did I do that? got here key card you can jump a bit further 
There goes some easy key. He might get health. Oh. Very well, reductionist. I can't afford that gun because I'm a idiot. I'm going to buy that key card. Oh, I'm such a, such garbage. I'm so garbage. Thanks for rescuing me. Better get to the wall, gang, ASAP. What is a walled gang? Someone speak German. Waldgang. What does that mean? Freaking kiss my butt. else I'm missing here.
Uh-huh. Copy of the Iliad. This is a, this game's addicting. I'll be honest with you. I was only gonna, I was gonna be like, oh, I'll play this for 10, 20 minutes or whatever. Not 10, 20, but I was like, I'll play, I'll, I'll give it 20 minutes, half hour. I've been on this, I've been on this bad boy for over an hour now. go beater but you only have like a little bit of health from last time all right that made things easier Basically, the NPCs can't expect a century of post-war intellectualism to conquer human nature. You just can't. It's true. Wait, do you want to refill some ammo and all your guns for five social credits? Nah. Nah, no problem. Where's my new guy at? I got another friend. It's like a dude in a cloak. There he is. What's up, dog? The whole idea of progress at presence is based on the past, that future generations are going to improve our achievements, and that man will always move, uh, be always moving forward, obviously negates the idea of some absolute measure. The idea that everything has become relative is false, my child. Do you want me to give you a blessing? Yeah. You get discouraged by the corporation. I didn't want to talk to you, Europa. We already had this. The art on the, the portraits is fantastic. Who's this guy? Oh, that's Nova. Let's talk to God. Gus. I really got, I got 318. What can I get? What this happen?
Oh. That's dope. Actually, you know what? Let's let's call her. I, I, if I go again, I'm gonna we're gonna be playing here all day long. So let's. Uh, Let's see what's up in the chat here. Alarmingly, uh, right wing young man says, "Use him each time you go there." He's talking about the the dude. Get blessed and go there. Sacred space. Bald gang. It's sacred space. Chilling books is my superpower. Speaking of that, you guys should go buy books, dude. We have a new book out. Is it novella? Another novella for my boy Arbogast. Another spooky noir called The Case Book of Patrick Midnight. It's dope. You guys are just going to love it. You guys that like Dick Tracy and, and you know, you like that vibe of the, the door hats and the trench cloaks and the, the dark scenes and the spooky detective novels. If you guys like that vibe, the 1920s, Go get it. You're gonna you're gonna fuck with it. It's dope. It's a great book. You're gonna love it. And Russ, Dave's about to batter his monitor. Man, I get I I do get mad. I have a bat. When I was a dude, when I was a kid, I used to bite my controllers and bite the wire and punch the controller, and throw it. And I'll be like, you know why you why you play video games that make you so mad? Shut up, mom. <laughs> Copy of uh, Valsunga will make you immune to venom attacks. That's clever. That's clever, bub. All right, that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be it for me. I'm getting a little, feeling a little stuffy, feeling a little lousy. So I'm gonna shut it down for this evening. But guys, you know. Buy books, buy games, dude. This is, I'm so proud of these guys, dude. Let me turn off this freaking music. Yeah. I am so freaking proud of these guys. This is an awesome game. This is a good game. This is elevate. This elevates the level. You know what I mean? This takes us up a notch. Not just, uh, and I'm not saying us, I'm not taking any credit. You know, these, Roland and his boys made something awesome. They made something really, really awesome. They did a really good job. Lots of money, lots of time, lots of effort, and they made they made this badass game. So even if you don't really, even if you don't really like, maybe not want to play that game, or whatever, I would encourage you just to buy it, just to encourage more games to come out. Because if Cult Games blows up, if if the Great Rebellion blows up. You know, it's going to incentivize people to really, really, uh, you know, go in. Who is my favorite character? Favorite character in what? What was my, who was my favorite character? I forget what I was talking about, Audrey. So you got to refresh my memory. My favorite character in what? So, yeah, that's it. I have a video game project where we've been working on. It's been kind of. You know, we've been chilled out a little bit. We ran out of budget money, and we're coming our back around. We got to do another round of of promotion and fundraising and stuff like that. Sprites in the game. So the characters in the game. Um. So I like. I like I like them all. Uh, that the Seraphim I thought was a really cool sprite. Uh trying to think of it was it like this boss was good the previous boss was like really cool looking the bosses are really cool looking you know what i mean the animations too um it's hard to say i mean the sam hyde character you could tell me that's not sam hyde and show it to me i'm like that's sam hyde it's really hard to do that with with pixel art 
Audrey, I'm, I'm guessing that you may be involved with the, the pixel art with this game. If you are, fantastic job. Fantastic job. Especially the intro, the animations in the intro. They're, like, beautiful. I told Roland, like, when I was like, yo, this is, like, breathtaking. This is beautiful. This is a nice-looking game. It's a dope game. Yeah. So, guys, base games, base literature, like, all this stuff. You know, remember I told you guys? Like, I've been talking about that. I've been railing about this for, for a few years now. You know, we need a, like, a, a new folk art movement. And it has to include video games because video games are going to be no other art movement has ever included video games. Every other art movement, especially in recent years, has done nothing but make an argument that video games are not art. And there's some there's some to that, like in their totality, they are they are something different. They are many arts tied together to create something else. But that something else is so important to whether you like it or not, or I like it or not, or whoever likes it or not. You know, per, uh, Pearl Clutcher's BTFO'd. At the end of the day, we can be like, we could sit around, huh, well, things aren't the way that, they, that I want them to be. Or we could be like, yo, this is how things are. Let's do our best to navigate it. And the way that things are is that video games are the biggest medium in the world by far. They crush music. They crush film, cinema. They crush everything. Literature, they crush it. It's not even a competition. You know what I mean? Trip, they're AAA games coming out that have like budgets that box office movies wish that they had. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And they're putting out crap. They're dropping the ball. They suck. They suck. Triple A blows. And it's easier than ever now to like put our toes in the game. And I'm not saying for anything other than just to make cool games. Just make games fun again. Make art fun again. Make art enjoyable again. Make art high quality. And give people, the way that I see it is if you are a creator, you are an artist, you are, firstly, you're an entertainer. And the reason that you're an entertainer is because you're not too much different than like a doctor. You know what I mean? People come to entertainment and now they're, you can absolutely, we know in today's society that people absolutely, you know, toxic levels of immersion in their favorite entertainment. They do, you know. It's just the way that it is now. But when people come to entertainment, what they're coming for is is healing, right? They're coming for healing. And you're like a doctor. You're, you're there to give them an experience that uh, relieves them of sucky, mundane, modern life. Because let's face it, you know, we, there's lots of stuff on tell. Here's the deal. There's tons of stuff on te like Telegram and Twitter and the, all the social media sites that's like, you know, reject modernity, go have an adventure. And they show guys like uh, going and climbing mountains and riding horses or doing whatever. And here's the deal. Like all that stuff's cool and good and, and people should try to do that. But that leaves like regular people in the dust. Yeah, you can go do that single guy. You know what I mean? You can do that. Do that. A lot of us, we have doctor's appointments for our family members and or school or, or uh, you know, bills and houses and kids to feed. And we have we have stuff that it's it's like, like let me tell you, as a dad, as a father, dude, me and my wife, if we even want to like go out for dinner, just me and her, it's like we gotta call somebody to see if there's a babysitter and that person might bail and back out and then we gotta reschedule and blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Just for us to like step out and have some like just me and her go get something to eat. You know what I mean? To go on vacation. My fan. Dude, let me tell you, three kids getting three kids, a family of five, 
like prepped and planned and and ready to rock to go on just like a camping trip is like bro it's it's not like let's fucking leave for an adventure and then he's like we gotta make sure do we have the budget for that can we afford that is blah 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 is it yeah. gonna conflict with anything whatever it's not that easy it's not that easy to like go on an adventure and here's the deal and i'm very blessed i'm very blessed in my living situation right i've got great community i've got you know, people buying books i got you know i'm doing my thing you know what i mean i got side hustles here and there i work very very hard so i don't have to go back to doing a nine to five you know it, and it's not even my choice I, I'm just like outside of like working in a restaurant or like some entry level jerk off job. I'm unhirable because I put my neck out publicly too much. I'm unhirable. So it's like this is my only option. So no, no judgment. No judgment. And plus, I'm too weird. Dude, I'm, I'm weird, dude. I'm weird. I'm hard to work with. I'm a big, huge personality. I'm not the kind of guy I've always sucked. At going and living in normoid space, and I can't blend in. I'm six foot two. My voice, I if is so. I'm such a fucking big loud mouth. You know, I say exactly what's on my mind. I'm I'm just too weird. I'm too weird. I have dark humor. I'm just too weird. You know, regular people don't. I I can't blend in with managerial society. So this is where this this is where I'm at. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, what do we got here? October says, come on, man. Everybody loves Dave. I appreciate you, October. I appreciate you. Swan says, I'm good weird. Yeah, I, I try to be. You know, here's the, here's the deal. No, I don't want to talk about me. Fuck all that. But what I'm, what I'm saying, I can't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So what I was saying was that uh, I'm very blessed in my situation, but even with how I am, you know, people out there that like work a nine to five or maybe two nine to fives or have that in a side hustle and like all this kind of people out there that are grinding and hustling out there. Plus they got what I got. It's like that guy's not out riding horseback and, and climbing mountains and going to tropical islands and like going on like, backpacking trips with his fucking you know he doesn't have time he just he's got a he's got mouths to feed once you have mouths to feed like that stuff that young men's you have to do this reject my nurse sorry i have a different world than you do people need me i don't have the luxury of being able to just hop up and go have a an adventure whenever i want so what do I do? Guys like me, guys like people that I'm talking about. It's a lot easier to just pop up a video game, put on a movie, put on an album, pull out some some comic books or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm getting stuffy. But for guys like that, you when you get one vacation a year, maybe these types of little little outlets of entertainment are pretty important and you know what it is pretty easy to fall into like hyper immersion and get like lost in it and guys that don't see things the way that we see them they can fall victim to that you know they don't got anybody to like say like yo dude this is too much you know what i mean they don't got anybody to say that they don't have a community around them that says that Hell you too, Alfric. But at the end of the day, we want to create games and art and entertainment and literature and freaking everything. Everything. Whatever we're creating, our goal, our motto is just to make good stuff. You know what I mean? If you're a doctor... Let me. 
if you're a doctor, let's say you're a doctor. What do you want? What do you want to do? You want to take care of people, right? You want to heal people. Your job is to give that service to to others. The word disease literally means uh, dis-ease. You are at dis-ease. You are not at ease. And the job of, of, of a doctor is to put you at ease. It's the same thing if you're an entertainer. You don't mean big Holly weird scumbag horse shit. I'm, I'm talking about you guys that are writers and singers and, and game developers and all this kind of stuff. Your job is to put people at ease. At the end of the day, it's not about some sort of political struggle or freaking message or counter message or whatever. It's not what it's about. What it's about is just giving people a good time. Giving people. uh, You want to because here's the deal is the people that are against you are not going to buy your shit. They're going to go look you up and they're going to just smell on you that you're not one of them and they're never going to buy your stuff. Most regular people out there are repulsed by the news and repulsed. They don't like it. They don't want anything to do with it. They want to, they are not like, they don't have the kind of mind that we're talking about. My boy, C.P. Webster. Brilliant, brilliant. Guys, go by. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Mr. Webster. I got you right here, bub. Buy this book. This getting crap. The Horror Beneath. I love I love Mr. Webster's uh, writing. Uh, horror Beneath is one of my... I really... I don't want to say because it's like... I like, you know, I like all everything we put out. This one was a banger for me. I when he sent me the manuscript, I read it the whole way through. First one sitting, like the whole it took me like yo know, almost the whole day. My wife's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm reading." I got I got sucked in. It was a fantastic book. I couldn't get to I couldn't wait to get to the end. But anyway, um, what was I saying? The guy out there isn't like he's just. You got to understand not everybody is equal. Not everybody. Most people are like just they don't want to know. You know, they don't want to know. They don't. That's why, like, almost nobody votes. They don't want to vote. They just don't want to. They don't care. They want somebody else to do it for them. They just want to they want to go to work. They want to make their money. They want to drink beer and grill and they want to bang their wives and they want to raise their kids. That's what they want to do. And you know what? That's okay. So when they, when they want that little bit of break, when they want their movie or they want their, their game or they want their, their uh, music or whatever, they don't want the world in there. They don't want the world in there. They're out in the world. My boy Arkham Reporter just did a fantastic, fantastic video. It's like harrowing this this video he did talking about the shadow of Innsmouth, how the shadow of Innsmouth is spreading and everything is gray and boring and ugly and like ugh, and everything. No wonder people are so depressed. And, you know, because I don't gotta, you guys already know. I don't want to go into all that. I'm going to wrap it up because my sciences are getting bad. We are so back. Can't wait to say, Roland, please. I'm tired of winning. <laughs> Yo, Colt Games, I'm proud of them. I'm so proud. I'm so very, very proud. They did an awesome, awesome job. Great game. I think they. he said they already busted 1,000 sales in like 24 hours. That's fantastic. I hope he gets rich as fuck. I hope they get rich. Like real. I hope they sell a million copies. I would love it. 
I hope all you guys get rich. For real. And when you guys get rich, give me a call. I'll be like, yo. Actually, you don't even got a call. I'm just going to show up. I'm going to pull up to your crib. I'm going to swim in your pool. I'm going to eat your food and drink your drinks. And I'm going to stay like way too long. <laughs> but I will overstay my welcome. It's going to be like day three. You're like getting ready to go for work. And I'm still out by your pool. Just like loafing in one of the chairs. Be like, yo, Dave, is that? Yeah. Is that the last of my expensive liquor that you that you've mixed up in my expensive exotic fruit juice that I had imported from the far corners of the world? I'm like, sure is. I appreciate you. <laughs> That's gonna be me, bro. I'm gonna have your I'm gonna have your maid like make me sandwiches while you're at work. Man, well, don't worry about it. I'll 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 make sure she cleans up after herself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I don't do that. I'm actually um, I'm pr pretty easy. Like uh, I'm a, uh, put the shades back on. All right, hold up. Oh yeah, yeah. My other shade. Where are my other shades at? I don't know. Who knows. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go get some day quill and loaf out. So I'll talk to you guys very soon. Buy The Great Rebellion. You're going to love it. Go play it. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Love and blessings to all you guys. I'll talk to you all very soon.